Hey guys, it's me, Devin, and today I'm here to do my first ever Top 5 Wednesday video. If you don't know what Top 5 Wednesday is, it was created by Lainey at Ginger Reads Lainey, which I will leave a link to her channel down below. Basically, every Wednesday there's a new topic, and for each topic you pick your top 10 books or authors, let's say, or whatever, for that topic. So for this Top 5 Wednesday, it's top 5 books you want to see made into TV shows, not movies. So let's get cracking with number 5. My fifth pick goes to Eon by Alison Goodman. If you guys have read this, this is kind of like Mulan with high fantasy. Um, there's a bunch of dragons, the setting's amazing, it takes place in Asia, all, and it has Asian mythology, and it has to do with the 12 zodiac dragons and I just think this whole world and the whole aspect of the dragons and the fantasy would make an amazing TV show. The setting itself is so beautiful and there's so many amazing characters that I just think this would just be perfect. So my fourth pick for this has to go to the Del Toro series by Emily Rhoda. This is a middle grade fantasy series. There's a lot of action, there's a lot of magic and Amazing, cool setting. This is follows like 13, 14 year olds. I think this would be perfect as like a kid's show. I think it either used to be like a video game or there might have been even a TV show back, back when it first came out. But I think if they did this right, this would be an awesome TV show for kids. And even though I'm not a kid, I'd be watching it right alongside them. And number three goes to I Tell You I Love You But Then I Have to Kill You by Ali Carter. This book was the first book I thought of when it came to a TV show. This book follows an all-girls school where it's not your typical all-girls school. Except for every girl in the school is training to be a spy or some sort of government agent. Instead of, you know, football and gym class, they teach martial arts. They get extra credit for breaking CIA codes. So this is really light. It's really fun. I think this would be perfect. You know, it's like a six book series and you have a lot of depth to go with the characters and you can go on cool little adventures with all the girls. So I definitely think this deserves the rights to get to a TV show. And I think if you've read this series, you definitely would agree. Now we're down to my final two. At first, I couldn't decide the order in which I wanted these, but then thinking about it, I made the right choice. So number two in this list goes to The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And basically this is a young adult version of Criminal Minds. And for those who have seen Criminal Minds, it's one of the most popular crime drama shows out there. I think it's on like its 10th or 11th season, I think. Don't quote me. But this would be perfect because not many kids can actually watch the Criminal Minds show because of the graphic nature. So I think if they did a younger version of the Criminal Minds, it would be perfect because then a lot more teenagers can relate to the people and you can just have more like angst and more drama than you could with adult characters. So I really, really hope that this gets optioned for a TV show because I would be like happy as anything. And my number one pick should come as no surprise if you follow me on this channel at all. And that is Rotten Ruin by Jonathan Mayberry. Now be before I go into this, I, will I do want you to know this has been picked up to be turned into a movie. Um, last year when I went to BookCon, I met Jonathan Mayberry and he was talking about how it was going to be turned into a comic series and a movie and possibly a TV show, I'm not sure. But before I did this video, I looked it up and the script is currently being written. I forget the production company. I do know that they have already casted an actor to play Tom Amora, which is the main character's older brother in this book. And I just think that this book, one, it has zombies. Everybody loves zombies. And yes, zombies might not be the focal in this book, but I believe that if done right, it could be amazing. You've got so much character development in this story. You've Instead of like a romance, you have this like bonding between two brothers, which is amazing. And there is a lot of like thought process. There's a lot of points in this book that make you think. There's a lot of heart-wrenching points and I just think this would be an amazing TV show. You know, there's four books in total and they could spread them out so well and just do so much with it. So I'm so excited to see what the movie's going to be like. It might not come out for another two years because they're still writing the script, but I am praying that it's done well. And from what I've heard from Jonathan Mayberry, it's going to be awesome. So 
I cannot wait. So that's all for this Top 5 Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to join along in Top 5 Wednesday, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description box below to their Goodreads page where you can join in and sign up. And if you guys have any thoughts about my picks for a TV show or picks of your own, don't forget to tell me in the comments below. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you soon with another video. Happy readings. Bye.